if it weren't for Connie and her helping me with the program and with school, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I'd probably still be at one of my parents' houses, struggling with school, not having the same opportunities that I have now, and probably would not have a chance to graduate high school and be able to make something better out of my life than just a GED or a high school dropout. McKinney Vento provides them the resources to be able to get the conditions right so that they can be successful. They can feel safe at school. They can have their basic needs met. Abraham Maslow says that if we don't feel safe, we're, we're not able to learn. Well, I think Emma's a great example of the success stories that come out of McKinney Vento Law and, and the reason that it's been put into place. Uh, she went from having a difficult time in school with attendance uh, to being a scholar student and being ready to go forward into the college uh, career, uh, writing this path, and really excited to hear that a great success story with Emma. When I met Emma, I could tell she was bright, and I believed in her, and she has believed in herself, and she has taken off, and she's doing well. She's going to graduate from Brighton High and be a real success. The McKinney-Vanto program is a federal law. It's been around since 1987. The purpose of the law is to eliminate enrollment barriers. I've been doing this job for a little over 20 years now. I enjoy the job and I like it. My job is to eliminate barriers for students who lack a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence. It helped me to where I can get the, I don't know, get the resources that everybody else has the opportunity to have when I am kind of a, I'm in a different situation than most people. In the high school, I've seen students that have received help with extracurricular activities. I've seen them receive help with a backpack, pencils, supplies, and ultimately for the opportunity to be able to be viewed as just another student that's in the school and not a, a specialized classification of students. I turned my grades around from a GPA of, I think it was like 0 0.1, to making a 3 point five GPA on one term and then a 4.0 on another one. I get the fee waiver at school which helps immensely with school fees. Our elementary students at East Midvale Elementary, they have an opportunity to take breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. They can come for after school program and for tutoring and then we also have the ability to get them in and, and provide clothing. Our high school students have very similar um, help that our elementary school students have. I've helped her with gas cards with shoes, with clothing, backpacks, those kind of things. And also, the district was willing to help her pay for some makeup credit so that she can graduate. And because of those gas cards, I'm able to go and drive out to the tech center down in West Jordan and take the dental assisting program, which is in the field of study I want to go into after high school. And it makes it to where that I can get a job after. Canyon School District has the largest winter shelter, the road home. It, highly impacts Canyon School District because they don't have a home to go to when school gets out. So they're here at school till 5.30. They are furnished breakfast, lunch, and dinner here and wholesome activities that keep them out of the shelter where we know the environment is not a good place for them. We have Entrada that's an alternative high school. We have Diamond Ridge which is alternative. So we have packets, online learning. We have Canyon's Virtual High School. My advice to kids in this program who might just be homeless, I think, is to be motivated. The statistics, if you are living in a shelter and you're in high school, are not good. The national dropout rate of shelter students in high school is about 85 percent, so that means only 15 percent are graduating. I've seen some real successes. I've seen students that have become RNs. I've shown up at a doctor's office and the nurse was a previous student, which is exciting to me. People do care about these children and try to help them. Even though some of them can be difficult, there's behavior issues, there's other issues, but if we give them a bit of a hand up, they can be successful and they can be productive in society.